Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Safety Systems, audiovisual needs, home automation, life safety systems, and of course, home and business security systems. You need to visit safetysystems.com to get a full understanding of all the great services they provide you, the homeowner, or you, the business owner. I've used them for many years. They do great work. Call VFL JJ Serlis. You've seen him on this show. Call VFL JJ Serlis and his team this week. Look around Knoxville and start noticing how many times you see that safety system sticker in the window of a business or stuck on a sign in the front yard of a home. It's all over town. There's a reason for that. Safety systems. Okay, I mentioned something quickly. I think this whole thing is impacting the SEC and UT even as we speak. And the reason is, uh, for years, North Carolina and Virginia, the two flagship schools, that's who everybody says they want. I don't think necessarily they're the best football schools. I don't think necessarily they're the best fit for the SEC. But uh, a lot of people think that's the two everybody wants. You look at what the Big Ten is building up there. I don't think if, if North Carolina and Virginia are given the, the option, Big Ten or SEC, how many schools have taken the one that provides less money so far? None. Well, the Big Ten's <laughs> offering more money right now. They're making more already. When they go back in and renegotiate again before the SEC does, they're now renegotiation, renegotiating with Portland and Seattle in their hip pockets, two more big brands. I think money-wise, they've got the advantage on the SEC. And I think if you're North Carolina and Virginia, two schools that want to appear to be ahoy polloi, <laughs> you're going to choose to go hobnob with the presidents at Northwestern and Michigan and the Ohio State and Southern Cal, as opposed to, come on over here and take a look at our ag campus down here in Starkville. You're going to love it, boy. Hotty toddy. Yeah, hotty toddy <laughs> instead hottie of hob, hobby nobby. Right. I think they're going to hobnob with the, the North. So I think that's impacting the SEC. I think, the, I think the Big Ten has a better product to sell right now. But here's my question. Everybody's after the money. Money, money, money. you got to have money in this day and age. Money makes the difference. Who has it made the difference for? In the last 50 years, I can think of one school and one school only, and even this is iffy, that has taken money and made itself a national championship kind of team. They haven't won one, but they've been kind of in the mix. They played for one. There's only one I can think of. I don't see Indiana jumping up into this realm. I still see Ohio State and Alabama. All the top 15 teams remain the top 15 teams. And then you got teams like Clemson who don't make money in the ACC, and yet they're still winning. So everybody's running around. Who else, who else changed their dynamic with money? Oregon. That's it. That's the one. Philip Knott. Can you, th can you think <laughs> of another one? Is there anybody else? Uh, because you could make a case for T. Boone Pickens at Oklahoma State. But they, not as they, much. They got one no. Big 12 championship right. since 1996. No. That doesn't count. No. no. Well, Oregon the was people, the one I was thinking of. While, while some schools are making more money than they did, well, the schools that were better are making money too. Exactly. Alabama's still making money. Georgia's yeah. still making money. Uh, all these other schools are still raking in the dough, so uh, Ohio State. So even though you might be making more money, Northwestern, Indiana, Illinois, Ohio State and Michigan are also making money. Yeah, Mississippi State, Vandy, Ole Miss, you're making big money. So is Alabama, so is mm -hmm. Texas, so is Oklahoma. Good luck. I mean, Tennessee, it, Tennessee's been making money hand over fist, and they've sucked for 20 years. Until Josh Heupel, you've been, <laughs> you've been stinking, and yet had lots of money over there. They can say they didn't, but I think we've all seen the facilities get – what athletic director hasn't had a hand in some form of rehabbing Neyland Stadium? Another hundred million. <laughs> that money's coming from somewhere. It, so it, it's kind of hard to to really uh, sort of compartmentalize and separate just because of the era. I mean, the month just everything is so much different. Arkansas and South Carolina. I mean, they're they're in a much better position. Than they, financially, than they were financially. Or do you mean? Yeah, I mean, Arkansas. Arkansas is worse. Yeah, Arkansas is worse in terms of play. In terms oh, of their on field okay. basketball is okay. Outside of money, you're talking about. Like, well, I'm just talking about on which ones have taken for, the money. There's lots of them making it. more money. Right. Which ones have taken the money <laughs> right. and, and become a winner with right. it? It's right. like, look at our. At some point, I was, I was talking to Bob yeah. Hodge this week, and he made the point at some point, how good can your locker room be? If ever, I mean, BYU <laughs> has this spaceship for a locker room. Okay, how, who's going <laughs> to compete with that? At some point, you can only yeah. make it so spectacular in terms of a recruiting tool. So in terms of schools going out there and having big money, how many of them have turned themselves into a national championship team? Arkansas has not. South Carolina has not. No, you're right. And then there's examples of the Big Ten, and, you know, the Nebraska's, the, uh, yeah. the Rutgers. I mean, if anything, they've gone, gotten worse. And yet you've got yeah. schools that made less money, like Oklahoma and Clemson. 
They've been doing just fine with their less money. Mm -hmm. USC's been doing okay when they're not on probation. They do pretty good when, they, <laughs> when they've got, the, you know, they don't make as much money as the SEC and Big Ten. I just think everybody's fighting for these dollars like it's going to turn them into winners, and I don't see any turnover at the top of the, right. the national rankings. Anyway. Interesting. So I think they're kind of crazy. All right. <laughs> uh, when we come back, did the SEC, this is where we're going to talk about what Jimmy brought up earlier, did the SEC screw up its last TV deal? We've hinted at this in the past. I think the deal's looking worse every day, but we'll discuss ESPN and the SEC. Is ESPN holding the SEC back? Who would have thought that when they signed it? Come on back.